Hello, hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to create Google Calendar appointment slots. The first thing you want to do once you're on your Google Calendar, you want to go over to the top left hand corner and tap on create. After selecting create, you're going to tap on appointment schedule. Once you have tapped on appointment schedule for that particular date, you'll be able to create an appointment schedule as you can see right there. After you have done that, you can add in the appointment name. So you can see right here, title. You could tap right where you see no title and you could add in your title. So for example sake, I'll just call it test. And then from there, you can add in the appointment duration. So for example sake, the appointment could be lasting for 45 minutes. After you have done that, you can choose that you like the appointment to be repeat weekly or you would like it not to repeat or you want it to repeat for a day or every other day or so on to do this you could set up custom recurrence and you can do that you can also choose the days that it would repeat if you had chosen weekly as you can see right here and by scrolling down you can also set up the scheduling window so for example if we were to tap on scheduling window you will be able to limit the time range during which appointments can be booked. So you can do that right there. You can set up the start and end dates and so on. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on next. After you have done that, if you'd like to add in a description, you can do that. You can also set up where you like to keep the appointment. So for example, would you like to set up a conference call? You could set up a conference call using Google Meet choose to meet in person or phone call or none to be specified later on. And after doing that, you could also set up a booking form if you want so that persons will fill out the booking form before. You can also set up reminders and confirmation. Once you're finished, you'll tap on save and you can see that the appointment has been created. So if I were to tap on the appointment, as you can see right here, I can tap on share and then I can share the link with others. So I can tap right there, select link, then copy the link. And you'll be able to share this link on social media or any other platform. Or if I were to tap on open booking page, you can get a preview of how it looks. So this is how our booking page looks at the moment. And this is what persons will see when they tap on our booking page link. So this is what they'll see right here. And once they have selected the time, they can fill in their name and so on. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button.